So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want the theme song shortened? So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Hi everybody, Marissa here. So, <clears throat> I, this is for the Proud Family, Louder and Proud Season 2. I went just watching it, knowing that at least the party because I had other things to watch. And I'm finally at the part, I was finally at where I didn't have much to watch for the past three days since I was done with a lot of other things. So, so that's why I took me so long to get to this one because there's other things I was watching at the time period. So, now back to that period. So, you can probably go watch, um, Sailor Moon or somebody else, or some, or some YouTuber stuff, since I'm basically done playing the game for now, right now I'm just editing it, making sure all you guys get it, but this is for a proud family, so let's get on to it, and this move, this TV show of the second season, it's, um, Tennis the Cliffhanger that had last season were, um, Um, she her mom left her f home farm because she couldn't get along with her dad because her dad was a um, sexist jerk. Because of the time period he came from, where a lot of people were a sexist jerks. I mean, those still exist out there, but I think a lot of guys back then were, because that's how they rage to be. And. And he needs to go out on his daughter, and his daughter is trying to prove him wrong, and they also showed him, like, uh, a grandpa that Penny could have had if I would be, uh, a Native American that was in her area that she was not allowed to marry, because back then, blacks could only marry blacks, and, um, dad threatened to kill him if he married her, so... And eventually she did forgive him. And so and then she proved her dad wrong by able to, to um tame a bull that um Oscar could not tame. Because Oscar is because Oscar's Oscar. And so we go back to the town, back to home in the next episodes, and we have um, a couple of episodes. One, here's the ones I can't remember. Um, they're not in any particular order, but they're in, here's the ones I can remember. And I remember the one where they had to do a contest against a different school and about debates. And the one that Indigene and Penny had to deal with the fact that Zinich and they forgets her, their friend of her serene thing. And... Because they were, they were the, she's with a new boyfriend who is using her in order to get... Or do you... Cheat codes again, like, use what they're going to talk about and stuff like that. And Penny tells him it's not real, and she still stays with him afterwards. And the part that a lot of people, I don't get why they're against having this shown on TV, because it's part of history, is the rap war slave build this country, hip hop version of slaves built this country. And being a person who is not black. 
I enjoy this because I like history. I don't talk about this history that much in my channel unless it's um, about animation. But I do like, there is history I like about the past and stuff like that. And I agree that slaves did build some part of this country. They did. Okay? So, and we do not need, and we need to talk about the bad parts in around kids. They need to know about this for their future when they're adults. And make sure that what happened in the past doesn't happen again. And people need to understand that. Okay? Get that for your sticking head. It may hurt your feelings. It may hurt their feelings, but it needs to happen. Get that for your head. Yes, it happened that people were treated terribly during 1800s and before that. But you need to get over. You need to understand that it happened and let your kids learn about it, so their descendants don't end up doing the same thing. So yeah, stay. This remember that. That's all I have to say about that. So. And if they don't learn it in schools, let them learn on TV. Okay? Alright. So, there. That's all I have to say about that. And... So, that's my opinion about that, so hopefully nobody gets mad about that. Um... Anyway, the next episode that we've got to learn about, that we got to talk about, is um, a story that gets dealt around through the like different sides of stories, is where uh, Oscar and Uncle Bobby were in a band, and they had a girl who was um, in the group, and she ended up leaving because... Lizard offers her a uh, better deal. And, and both of them can't really sing. <laughs> they did a. They both of them did like one and did like a jazz, one and did like a hip hop version, one did like a. And then she said it was like a. Um, a court. Um, bar, bar dead thing. And so. And every single time it was um, because Sugar Mama didn't want to lose. Any of them. And that, so it was okay. <laughs> that part that, like, was funny. It's like, I like Bobby. Bobby's so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he just sings all the time. <laughs> so it was nice to have a whole bunch of episode where he's from his being in the show. <laughs> so. And then we have an episode where, um, Zoe had a guy that who liked her, well, because she's white and she didn't want to believe it. And they were having like a bunch of them dressed like Disney princesses, except for one that looked like she was copying one of the the G girls. I guess I don't know. And I'm guessing the one that uh, Mark Zanigo was the one that was a preschool one I never really watched because. It's after my time as a preschooler, even though I do watch little kids shows, but most of them are ones are around, or reboots of shows I was watching as a kid, and ones when I was a kid, so. And this is not one of them, so I do know about it, because I've seen people talk about them in their videos, but that's basically it. So I always have to remind myself, Self, that's who she's dressed as. <laughs> so, yeah. And Zoe ends up dressing as Maria because she is pissed. And so she um, went down there and I think she was pretty good as <laughs> Merida. But she had every. When she, find, she actually questioned him about it off screen. I wish it was on screen. So he, she can, act, you can see him walk away and get in trouble for it by everybody. That's the part I'd say about that. So it should be on screen. And 
So, they end up, so she, so she is Brianna and, and her, um, Penny are brought together, and then they have a, f our speedy are being friends, and then they have an episode that's kind of, um, bringing up what happened in the movie, even though technically the movie shouldn't have happened yet, because didn't the movie take place when Penny was 16, and now she's still 14? Um, where they have those those weird nut people uh, come back with and try to um, bring bring replacements of um, everybody in town this time without just a proud family, because they don't know about happiness and kindness and stuff like that. And so they show them happiness and kindness by... Um, it, by doing um, trades and stuff like that, showing like all families sometimes don't get along. So, through um, Oscar and um, Trudy fighting. And so, and Penny ends up like waking up afterwards and like finding out it's a dream. And so, yeah, we had to find out wonder was it all oh, really a dream? Sometimes I don't like those episodes where it's a soldier that didn't really happen, but sometimes he tells me that they cast a spell on her. <laughs> so that's why I really hope it was. <laughs> Make it so how they how they got how they showed up. <laughs> so And another one I remember was BB um coming autist find out he's autistic. And I'm in no one being around autistic people most of my life is um because I'm dating one and I'm and I also have one in my family. But They, um, how they tackle it here. Even though it's kind of silly that they made him, like, fly everywhere. Like, I know it's hard to do it on cartoons. Or do it Fury on TV. And... Um... But the way, like, how Oscar says he doesn't want to um, put him in the classroom because he loves BB. And he has to realize that he, that BB needs help. And he should not put it on um, Penny's hand because Penny does not know how to handle it. And he tried to do it himself. And Penny says, "No, I'm not doing this. I don't know how to hand. I don't know how to do with it. Deal with BB." And so um, he ends up. Day, uh, ends up deciding to let this, him go to school. So, then they go to the preschool where they help um, deal with that stuff. So, yeah. And I, I did like the episode, though. It was sweet. Because, um, really, the, neither of these twins have personalities beforehand, and now they gave one of them a person gave personality now. <laughs> so, that's neat. <laughs> And the last episode I'm probably going to talk about here is one that I'm not really going to get my opinion on. I'm just going to tell you guys stuff about it. And that I might get some of it. So, one of the, the gay dads, the cop dad, that's gay, I forgot his name, that who is um, of the new character. He, his ancestor was a slave, was, was, was a person who owned slaves. Now, he really, it, his dog gets mad at him for saying that I don't want to believe that after she um, met a ghost of his um, ancestor's slaves. And at the school, when they were like having him have his own statue and they respect him because they you know, found the, found the town and stuff like that. And he, um, 
Daniel will wind up with the dad's ancestor is a slavery. And I'm happy that she did not get mad at him because that's something that his ancestor did. She's just mad at the fact that he wouldn't he didn't want to accept that. It's not really his fault. And so he got she got a lot of, she gets Penny and um DJ and Michael and, and Zoe and La Cienega, all to help her protest against um, the statue being there when she finds out the truth and find a diary when they go to his um, the plantation there and they and so and find the journal that's saying that they were celebrating the June the June thirteen when the um, slavery when the, the slaves got released. And yet, since in the north they weren't, they were still um, slaves, and they weren't for they weren't able to release. They didn't have to release them. And they also, I also like this part: the fact that they meant that the one of the teachers, not the history teacher, told them that Lincoln wanted them to sent to another country, so he didn't really care about them. That is one line out of life that they put that in there because so many people in real life think that Lincoln is a perfect person and no, he was not. So, so yeah, I like the show that sh it showed that. So, people can who watch the show know that he was not. Um, what a lot of movies paint him out to be, and what history paint him out to be. So, that's basically it. And I guess it's, they're like ripping on the fact that a lot of, um, like, I forgot to mention one. And I like this one a lot, so I can't believe I forgot to mention this one. Um, so this is, there's an episode where a lot of you got. Finally, instead of getting made fun of her for her big feet, she um, gets to put it's a half pound but and gets praised for her big feet for a little bit. And that is her learning how to do gymnastics with them and her not it would have a hard time with them and eventually she ends up breaking her her foot. And um, she can't compete anymore because her foot's broken. And um We find out um, one of the like the mom wanted to be a gymnastics sunset. She wanted to be gymnastics, so she lived for her lived for her daughter, and um, one of the other adults also who got injured when he got me met his husband, and so he can't he can't. Now it's also probably she will do it now too. You can't do one any more gymnastics too. And so he's like living it for her and by training her and stuff like that. And so at first she got all zeros because she messed up. She was on the phone. And so her there was a bunch of kids who were like cheering her on and like her adoring her and stuff like that. And Kelly obviously obviously her deal. And um, but she ends up getting the a food injury, and, and Sugar Mama tells them you should not take take advantage of her, and sets them right. So for once, they're not nobody's teasing her about her foot size. Instead, of they're praising her for it. So yeah, mm. that's one thing. Uh, it's an episode of like, so I want to add that in. Korean video. Statues have been torn down lately. So, in real life, that's what they're basically working off there. So, that's, I'm going to get this season. It was fine. I don't really, I just would understand why some, they had to do things in, the, in a certain time period, so I understand why a lot of things were off screen. So, because I didn't have time for it. And animation's hard, and then 
one thing I wish they would make a movie like this Disney because they have they have animators like this and can do cell animation yet they save for um, their their TV shows. Why can't they make a movie like this? This this TV show is a living proof that they know how to do it. But no, they won't. So, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna give this one, this season, uh, 8 out of 10. So I'll see you guys later. Like, if you're subscribe to my channel, I'm showing you guys how to subscribe. So, bye-bye.